this tutorial I will show you how to make this insane burnout effect with DaVinci Resolve 19. To get started, open the Clips in Fusion page. Let's copy the media in one so we can make the wheel spin. Add a merge node to it and connect them. After that, add a polygon node and invert the mask. We will use this to mask out the rim so we can animate it. Go through the video and fix the mask so it stays in place. This will take time, but the better you do it, the cleaner the effect will look. Now you can invert the mask again. Then add a transform node to it and connect it like this. Copy and paste the whole node tree. Click on the copied polygon node and invert the mask. Go back to the first node tree and click on the transform. Adjust the pivot with keyframes so it's in the middle of the rim. This basically makes the rim rotate around itself rather than around the whole clip like this. After that, find a point where you want the actual effect to start and make a keyframe for angle. Then go to the point where you want it to end. Change the value to something that fits your video. Open the spline window, find angle and make a graph similar to mine. Now you can go back to the editing page. Take your green screen footage of the smoke and drag it onto the timeline. Open it in Fusion page. Find Delta Keyer. Take the eyedropper tool or choose the color manually to remove the green screen. Now it's basically back to animating. Use zoom and position keyframes to animate the smoke so it stays on the wheel. I feel like the smoke is too slow. To fix this, simply click on Change Clip Speed and turn the value up. I'll animate the end of the video and also add these fade outs to make it a bit smoother. When you are satisfied with the smoke, go ahead and open the background clip in Fusion page. Select the original transform and click on Settings. Apply Motion Blur and copy my settings. Now you can just render the video and call it a day, right? No. If you want the effect to go harder, you should definitely add this shaking effect to it. First, combine the two clips into one new compound clip. Add an adjustment clip on top of it and trim it so it starts when the wheel starts spinning and cut it when the spinning stops. Go into Fusion page and find Camera Shake. Change the edges to Mirror, then make a keyframe for overall strength. Turn it down fully. Go to the point where the wheel is at full speed and raise the strength to about 0.3. Once the wheel starts slowing down, add another keyframe there, but don't adjust any values. Turn the values down once the wheel has stopped. You can also play around with the speed, and if you want, you can apply motion blur for this one also. That's basically it. 